Hello, this is Talking Toffee, and it is the only place on YouTube for Evertonians to, of course, get together and discuss all things Everton. Now, first of all, I want to start with an apology uh, for my uh, lack of, of vlog after the uh, Leighton Orient encounter. I apologise about that. i um, been a bit busy towards the back end of last week, but what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd leave it until after the West Brom game, because then we'd get um, a double amount of happiness in one vlog after steamrolling Leighton Orient, and then turning up at West Bromwich Albion and taking them apart and winning by three goals to nil. Um, but... That didn't happen, uh, so you know uh, that, that went out the window. And I'm now doing this blog the day after we were rightly beaten at West Brom. I'm not going to take anything away from West Brom, which Albion in this uh, this um, this vlog. In fact, I thought they did um, an Everton on us. The way they played, the way they pressed, uh, the way they worked and harried, and uh, I think we've got to learn to deal uh, with that from um, from our perspective. We've got to learn to, to break teams down, and that's where Moyes needs to, to put his thinking cap on. Um, I don't think uh, when Darren Gibson went off that he made the right uh, decision in bringing Phil Neville on and playing. Well, not sorry, not bringing Phil Neville on. Phil Neville started, but playing Neville where he started and bringing Tony Hibbert on. So uh, you know, this is the the theme of the blog. Really, I want to know what your thoughts are. Obviously on uh, yesterday's encounter um, where do we go from here and then Phil Neville I know I did a, I, I did a vlog in I don't want to single Phil Neville out because he, he has been uh, you know a, a decent tidy player in these first two opening games uh, against United and against Villa uh, but yesterday you know for whatever reason um, in the middle I haven't worked out why he was extremely poor um, and losing Gibson was, was a um, you know obviously a, quite detrimental Towards, I think what else was was fairly detrimental, um, as far as my observations go, is is when your um, you know a, a, a high percentage of your um, best players, Baines, Pinar, and uh, Fellini, have a poor game as a collective, then um, you know you're going to struggle. Any side, the three three out of its five best players have a poor game. Um, you know, you you know, you're gonna have problems, and and we did, and we did. So if you went down to the uh, Hawthorns yesterday, obviously, um, hope you got there safe. Looking out for you again, aren't I? And I want to know what your thoughts um are on the game. Also, if you didn't, if you watched it um via a stream like I did, or if you uh you know if you missed it, see you on match of the day. Let me know what your thoughts were um on the uh, the encounter with West Brom yesterday. Um, and let's keep this let's keep this moving. Uh, in, in terms of going forward, um. What do you reckon to Newcastle coming up? Now, Newcastle like to come at us, and they will do, and that's the way they like to play. Um, and I think sometimes when teams do that, uh, we, we, t we take them apart, and we, we pick them apart with uh, when they when they come with that kind of mentality and that attitude. So, obviously, let me know your thoughts on the Newcastle game that's coming up. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a vlog, because obviously we've had a lot to talk about since the um, Villa game last week, and I'm going to do a separate vlog on, on our transfer um, acquisitions and then I'm going to ask you you know who who's the best acquisition out of all the, the the transfers that we've we've completed but don't think about it too much now I want to know your thoughts on the West Brom game yesterday um, apparently the Everton support wasn't too too brilliant I've seen a few Evertonians moaning about that the away support but then you know I kind of argue that we've got to be given something on the pitch and yesterday um, I'm sure a few of them have been on the AL especially Fellini I mean when that chance dropped to him he'd likely never seen a football before in his life so give me your thoughts on yesterday's game um, again, sorry for not not putting a vlog up sooner. Um, a vlog. I keep on saying that, don't I? I keep on doing that. I've got to remember it's a vlog. Um, it's probably getting quite annoying now. It's a vlog. I do apologise. I'll, I'll never say the word vlog again um, after that one that I've just said. Anyway, leave your leave your thoughts underneath. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for all the comments underneath the last video as well. Um, I think we're at 22 likes for that. Not one dislike, and uh, it's got that thing about copites in it. So I thought a few of them would infiltrate it and be disliking, but they haven't. Um, so yeah, keep it coming. This is the only place on YouTube for Evertonians to get together and discuss all things Everton and give me your thoughts on the West Brom game yesterday and uh, you know where we go from here. Thanks a lot then. Oh, back. Just one quick question. Um, the, after the first three games, uh, how happy are you uh, with the points that we've um, we've you know we've we've gathered? I said that we'd have um, I said that we'd have seven points by now. My prediction was I thought we'd draw at uh, United, uh, we'd draw against United, and then go on to beat Villa and West Brom. We haven't quite done that, but it's still been a good start. So let me know your thoughts on that as well. Then take care. Then try on. Bye bye.